Everything's under control, Father. As long as Sheridan and Luis don't ever discuss what happened. If they do, Luis will realize he was set up and he'll do everything in his power to bring the Crane family down. I know, but Sheridan's no longer working at the youth center. There's no reason for her to speak to Luis ever again. Sheridan, congratulations on finishing your 100 hours of community service. Yes, congratulations. We're gonna miss you, Sheridan. Yeah, we'll really miss you. We appreciate everything you did for us. Chad, can you put on some music? Let's get this party started. All right, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Miguel, thanks so much for getting the coffee. No problem. Voice. Hey, don't leave. It wouldn't look good for the director of the youth center to miss the party. I'm sure I won't be missed. Come on, man. The kids will notice and wonder what's going on. Besides, if my plan goes right, I don't want my best buddy and my future wife having any bad blood. All right, I'll stay. Yeah. Glad you're staying. Hey, Jess, uh, don't you have something we were going to give to Sharon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right here, and it says exactly what you wanted to say. Go ahead, Jess. Give it to her. No, Jessica, don't. Oh, of course. Um, you should be the one to give it to her, Luis. You're the director of the youth center, so... This is for you. Read it, Sheridan. Yeah, let us hear what it says. To Sheridan Crane, who brought so much to the Youth Center, including a good heart, an open mind, compassion, and their willingness to not only listen to others, but to care about what they have to say. That's really from the kids. Thank you, all of you. I've really enjoyed the time I've spent here with you. Luis told me he and Sheridan had a falling out. I know, Sheridan told me. Looks like you and I are back on track to get what we want. Sheridan for me and Luis for you. This is really special, you guys. I'll treasure it always. But, but I have to go now. Go? Why? The party's just getting started. You can't leave. Don't leave, Sheridan. Oh, please stay. You can't go until you do one last thing for us. What do you want me to do? Dance the tango with Luis? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Charity. I hope she's all right. I'm really curious about something. Did you really write what was on that flag? Yeah, but I wouldn't have written it if I would have known you better. What do you mean? Well, you wouldn't listen to me this morning, would you? Wonder what Julian Crane would have to say about this. your information, I didn't listen to you this morning because I had heard enough. I don't know what you heard. Whoever it was, was wrong. I know what I heard. Well, it doesn't matter now. I made a mistake. Especially the part about you listening to other people. I have another call, Father. I'll speak to you later. Julian Crane. Yeah, Julian, it's me. 
I'm at the youth center watching your sister dance a very sexy tango with Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. They're what? Oh, and they're not just dancing. They're having a conversation while they dance. They're talking? I don't know, Hank. Maybe you spoke too soon. All right? I'm listening now. Say what you have to say. I don't have anything to say. I just have something to ask you. Well, go ahead. What happened to us? And why did you come in here out of the blue and slap me in the face? Okay, what do you want me to do? You have to stop them from talking. I cannot take the chance that Sheridan might tell Luis what she overheard. Okay. How do you want me to stop him? Any way you can. Do something and fast. It's imperative that Luis and Sheridan not talk. If she tells Luis what she overheard him saying about using or not caring about her, he'll know something's up. Yeah, he'll probably figure out he didn't say those things. Probably. He knows he didn't, you idiot. And he's a cop, so it won't take him long to deduce that someone was impersonating him. Father and I can't afford to have Sheridan find out that we hired you to pose as Luis. Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of that cop. Luis won't be alive long enough to hear anything she has to say. I mean, what happened? What changed between us? Why did you slap me before? Look, I just want to know what happened. I mean, things were going pretty well between us. Well, why did it change? Why did you slap me? Cranes have used and abused my family for years. Now I finally got a chance to use one of them. A spoiled princess. Sheridan. All right. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. I'll tell you why I slapped you. And why I never want to see you again. I'm listening. I mean, I might as well tell you. I've got nothing to lose. Well, I'd like to know. I mean, you seem to be getting along great. Yeah, it seemed so. And then I... Well, we must have blown a fuse. Will you excuse me? Sure. You still there? What's going on? Relax, Mr. Crane. I just stopped your sister and that cop from talking. Good work. Well, Harmony's not that big a town. They're bound to bump into each other. Yes. I have to figure out a way to handle that. I'll miss you, Sheridan. I'm gonna miss you guys, too. You're gonna come back to see us, aren't you? Whenever I have the chance. We came to say goodbye, Sheridan. Yeah, we're taking off. I guess the party's pretty much winding down. Did you have fun? I had a great time, thanks. And thanks again for the plaque. Oh, we really had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it was Luis's idea. So I guess we'll say goodbye. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. I'm glad you changed your mind and came tonight, Sheridan. Me too. And the kids went to so much trouble. I'm really going to miss them. Oh, well, I'm sure they're going to miss you, too. You've been pretty popular around here. <laughs> Maybe not with everyone. But the kids are what's important. Well, thanks again. Bye. I'll call you. <laughs>